hi let's talk about dc motor program embedded c program by using keel microvision and simulation with proteus so for writing a complete embedded c program you have to use keel microvision software project and select the option new project and save your project with a specific name now you are doing dc motor a uh, project right so just i am saving with dc motor and click on save and these are all controller manufacturers you have to choose the manufacturer name atmel and the device from atmel manufacturer which is 8089c51 and click on okay and this is the startup code warning you have to press no now so you people created project now and you people chosen your target device that means you selected a specific microcontroller from specific manufacturer so now open your editor so to open editor window go file tab and choose new so this is the text editor here you have to write the program for your dc motor clock and anti clockwise rotation and write your program so this is because c language is case sensitive so try to write all the keywords in lower case and this is the controller header file name and you have to start and now so you people have to declare your connections of your dc motor so positive line and negative line with the help of user defined names the specific io pin from your microcontroller io ports now i am using port 1 0th bit for one polarity of dc motor and the other polarity of dc motor i am declaring with motor n and which is connected with other pin of port 1 which is p 1.1 so these are the two declarations required for your dc motor to control clock and anti clockwise directions by changing its logic now from here your main program will starts and these are the statements required for your this is the variable i am taking for delay generation unsigned integer so this i value i can use for self for loop delay generation and initially i am assigning the logics for two polarities of dc motor both as logic zeros and which is a output declaration for your io lines and now i am writing one infinite loop which is while of one and once the compiler entered into this infinite loop so the compiler keep on executing these statements followed by your while loop and now i am assigning the initial logic for motor p which is 1 and motor n which is 0 so because of these two logics your motor starts rotation clockwise and i am taking one for loop this is for simple delay generation give this semicolon for this for loop so with the help of because of this semicolon so your for loop which is incremented your i value up to 60000 then it will come for next 
and next for rotating anti clockwise i am changing the logics of two bits so positive polarity as zero and negative polarity as one so because of these two logics your motor starts rotates rotates anti clockwise direction so again i am giving the same time delay for the same time i am rotating my motor clockwise direction and as well as anti clockwise direction now oh, this is end of your while loop so this is the simple program for rotating your dc motor clockwise and anti clockwise after writing your program so try to save this program with the help of save button otherwise you can go file tab and choose save so now save your program and whatever the name you are giving for your file and save with .c extension compulsory so try to save and if you want to see and big size just change i'm changing the font size of the text so now it's better for visible purpose so you people can easily identify so these are all declarations of your dc motor connections and within this this is for clockwise direction and this is the two lines for anti clockwise so now this is the complete program for rotating your dc motor clock and anti clockwise direction and you have to compile this program for compilation choose the target one and click on source group one just right click and choose the option add files to source group one what program you want to compile just choose your file and click on add once if you add the your file you will get plus mark for your source group close so now you can identify file is added or not then so now you people are running this program on a specific target device which is 8089c51 if you want to see the errors and warnings of this program go project tab and choose the option build target now in our program there is no errors and warnings so if you want to run this embedded c program on hardware simulation you have to create hex file just go through the process creating hex file is yes. select the option target one and right click and you'll get options for target target one and this is the crystal frequency you have to give and highlight the option use on chip prom and choose the output tab and highlight the option create hex file and click on okay so after giving all these options just go project tab and build target now it will show your hex file name for your related program so just minimize your program programming tool and open your hardware simulation tool and this is the produce which is help us to see the hardware response for your embedded c program just choose the devices whatever you want now our requirement is what which is one is microcontroller and other one is dc motor right so just type your related keywords i type this is the dc motor i am choosing
so you can take simple DC motor just close your devices window now so just pick your device from the library and take your motor and as per your program just connect your one polarity for one I O pin and other polarity for another I O pin. So this is simulation. You can you can connect your DC motor directly without any interfacing device. But you, whenever you are doing hardware application, you have to use driver IC. So after connecting DC motor and microcontroller, just browse your X file, whatever you created from Keel Microvision. So this is my DC motor hex file path and just browse your file and give the same clock frequency and click on OK now. So now you can play and you can see the response from your motor you can observe so whether it is rotating clockwise or anti-clockwise you can find the DC motor rotation clockwise sometime and anti-clockwise sometime so this is a program for complete DC motor interfacing and this is the way you people can test you can write program with Keel software and you can check your hardware results with Proteus thank you